Welcome to Two Guys Garage. Now we're gonna show you today how to build your own 2200 pound, 500 horsepower animal. Yeah, not only are we gonna show you how to build the car, which we got a good start on, we're building the engine too. Now we almost got it buttoned up, it's fuel injected, 530 horsepower, it's gonna go right here. So you might wanna stick around, it's gonna be pretty cool. Okay, just to catch up, we are in day two of three of our Factory 5 build. We started out with a big stack of boxes. Yeah, it was like Christmas. You know, you open them all up, but you got to put your toys together. Yeah, everything shows up, we pull it out, and this is something that you can do at home, and you end up with a really cool, super performing little hot rod. Yeah, and we've made a lot of progress. So obviously we got our chassis set up on some stands. We got our fuel tank in. We got the front rear suspension in. We still got our brakes plumbed. I mean, our fuel lines are going. I mean, we've made a lot of progress so far, but as you can see, we got a long way to go. Yep. And today, one of the first things we have to do, Brian is down here. Meet Brian. Say hi, Brian. Brian is marking the bottom side of these panels. Reason he's doing that is it'll give us good locations to put our rivets in. And you can see this is really loud. This is really thin aluminum, which will keep the weight down. But in order to get the sound and the heat from, you know, rattling everything and getting, the, getting that exhaust coming through into the passenger compartment, we're going to put some undercoating on this that will uh, take care of that. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get that done. We can start putting the interior in. You know, and of course, over here is where all the power is going to go. So we got that Dart 530 horsepower small block Ford. It's going to, yeah, really make this 22, 2300 pound car fly. So I'm going to go check on that side, get the motor, the transmission made it together, get everything set. All this plumbing hopefully will marry up and we can get that thing on body the ground, on today. the body on, today. start to look like a car. Two days. Drive it soon. Impressive. All right, let's get, let's it. get it going. Hey, welcome back. We got the motor trans going in. And now we can start hooking up all our wiring, plumbing, everything else on the engine, like cooling system, all the hoses. So it's going to let us get a lot of work done. A lot of people can jump on it at once. Get the bolts for the mounts. Anyone? Anyone? All right. Got one. Achilles, here's one. There you go. Actually, needs to come down. Both sides have to squat. Well, you were heading that way. Okay. We'll get one side in, then we'll fight the other one. Come this side, right? My pin's in. How about your side? Good. Good. All right. Get a minute. Uh, you know, we're kind you'll, of putting you'll water like in. It. You'll like yeah, it. am I gonna like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I got a good crew here. You want to take over? You got it. All right. All right, welcome back. I got my starter in from Ford Racing. What's great, they've got everything in their catalog to do a build. They've got that OEM quality, race-inspired performance. Now we're kind of routing our fuel lines. You know, we've got a crossover here. What we've got is a feed line and a return line. So we'll feed in one side of the rail. We've got a regulator for motivation, so we just got to find a home for it. Maybe off the rail. Maybe off the firewall here. Now all our lines are XRP and all our fittings are XRP. And these are nice because they're reusable. It's a compression style. The hose goes on. You pinch it on. You cut the wrong length. You got the wrong end on there. Reuse it. Put it on another project. They're great. AN quality, nice good fit, and a good clean look. Now, I think I got everything down here done so I can put my headers on. We can start doing our exhaust. So I got my headers from Ford Racing. I'm going to sneak these up through, and I like to use a locking fastener on headers. You know, it just kind of saves me from having to go back over and over again and retighten the fasteners. If you don't keep them tight, they'll just back off, and you'll blow your gaskets out. <laughs> you think you have your lighted safety glasses so you can see this wrench. I like to show off how big my tool is. Where's Andy? Okay, we're getting the exhaust in. Got our Ford Racing tube headers up front with a ball flange. 
It's got a self-locking nut that goes on it. Right here, we've got our O2 sensor, plugs into the ECU. Coming back, stainless steel. Now this exhaust comes with a kit, which is nice. So you can just kind of plug it in. And I'll slide this in, show you where it fits, if it'll go with you watching, and it is. That's nice. And Jay from Isis in the back, can you uh, show them where it goes out the back? Maybe. There, there we go. go. Nice, just like that. We're cool, just huh? Some insulation around that, around those wires. Yep. Jay's from Isis Power. He's hooking up our electrical management system. Yeah, so everything, we took the chance while the body was off the frame to run the primary power, so power from the battery. There's a 500 amp fuse here to protect that starter cable. And that goes then to the starter in the front. We've got a, a disconnect here to disconnect all the body functions. And then the primary fuse is there to protect the power cell in the rear and the power cell in the front. So we're going to take this power cell here. It's going to go in the back deck here in the car to manage all the things in the back. And the master cell and the power cell will be in the front. And the only cable outside of power that we have going front to back is just this little data cable. So we've taken a lot of the bulk of the harness out of the car and reduced it just to that. Now we're getting the last of our plumbing done, which means we're getting closer to firing up this engine. So we're going to install our cooling pack. It's obviously going to keep the engine cool, but we're going to keep the transmission cool too. So it's got an internal you know, transmission cooler in it, which is cool. We're going to run those lines. This whole kit comes with the Factory 5 deal, and it's got a brushed aluminum you know, front grill. I love these 33s, but instead of leaving it brushed or going chrome, we had our buddies over at Lasker Powder Coating powder coat the grill, some of our trim pieces to kind of go with our theme. So once we get this installed, a little closer to firing up the motor, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to start to see that body on, really see this car take shape. Back, we're here on our 33 Ford Roadster project. Uh, we let our lizard skin, sound, and heat deadening material, we let that dry overnight. These panels about ready to go in. Bird's got his adhesive. Yeah, you can see all the holes that are in here. All these holes line up with all the holes we put in our frame rails. Well, we're going to rivet it down, of course, but just to get that little extra bonding so we don't get that rattling. You get a race car without a nice, nice interior in it, and it's, it's not bad. fun to drive. So the caulking just helps pull everything down, keep it tight. It's going to be nice, cool, cruising hot rod. Bring in the stunt double. This motor's moving around a little bit. I want to try to get a little bit of a kink in here, at least, so I can flex and extend out and compress in a little bit so I can account for the motor moving around. That'll work. Sweet. All right, we got all of our electronic goodies in our power panel right here. Wall of electrical goodness. It's all in one nice clean spot, which is great. So you yes, can get up under the dash, you can access it, you can see it, you know. So we've got the MSD, we've got the power for the, uh, the power steering pump, the EFI controller, and then the master cell and the power cell for the, the ISIS 3 cell kit that's in this car. Yeah, and what's really cool about this ISIS unit, you know, it's an electrical system. So all my fuses and relays are, are basically electronic there in here. I got a brain, I put all my switches in. I can add functionality later real easy, like door poppers or push button, start, stop. I mean, anything I can think of like on a modern car, mm -hmm. it's already basically got the brain and the power source is right there to feed everything. It's really cool, really simple to set up. And wait really to see how simple. diagnostics too. Absolutely, yeah. and you can do that right off the screen here. And wait to see how simple the dash is. It's all 22 gauge wires going to the switches, so the dash is real simple, real clean. Mm -hmm. No big fat cables going back behind the dash. Yeah, I like being able to look up underneath and do a quick diagnostic, see everything on the easy screen. Easy access to the diagnostics, then also easy access to the fuses right here in the power cell. So if you blow the fuse in your headlight, you take this cover off, you replace the fuse, you put it back together, you're done. Funny too, if you would usually look at a car in this stage, there'd be a huge bundle of wires back no. and forth. I mean, look at the tunnel, have... there's like nothing. Yeah, the only bundle of wire we have is the data cable, which is actually here under the floor. Yeah, I mean, there's like a spot like that big, and you know, about that much of it is the main uh, power. Right. Yeah, this is like the revolutionary way to do hot rod wiring these days. It's really cool. The whole goal is to make it as simple as possible. It's a really nice metal finish on that panel. That is yeah, nice. Who did bro. that? <laughs> All right, kids, here we go. Time for the body to go on. We're all waiting. Now, the first thing, we got to make sure we pre-drilled holes so that the doors will fit. So there's little chassis holes that have to go back into the exact right spot. In theory, the front goes in first and kind of tucks under the A-arms. That's why we taped up the front. And if we're lucky, anybody see anything? All right. 
Oh, yeah, baby, look at that. Cool. That is a good start. What was a that? Real hot rod. Huh? Yep. Three days? Well, we're only partway through our third day, so you can imagine, like, how long it would normally take to build something from scratch, but everything kind of falls into place. You got a good recipe. You can make huge progress in a very short amount of time. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll see you in the break room, so stick around. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show, check out speedtv.com or visit twoguysgarage.com. All right, we're out of time, so be sure you stay tuned because the next time on our Factory 5 build, we're going to test that baby. Oh, we're yeah. going to pound on it. We're going to see what kind of performance we get. So you make sure you want to watch that one. That's going to be the fun part, so see you then. How's that one?